Hey YouTubers, good morning. It's Rob Moffat here in Sunrise. It's a fantastic day. It's February 2nd. It's about 59, 49 degrees, 49 degrees, and it's about 72 degrees humidity. Usually it's like 9 degrees humidity and about 90 degrees uh, temperature. Like, <laughs> things are fantastic. Um, just unbelievable. <laughs> uh, today I want to talk to you about three things. Um, three different prepper items hardly anybody ever talks about. That I, I go to a lot of prepper channels and read a lot of books. Not too many people talk about these items. And they're pretty cool items. Very important items. Number one, this is the key of life. I know it looks like cross and that's very important too. But this is this is the, the, the key of life. The most important thing beside air is water. Second most important thing. This key will open up almost any faucet in America. <laughs> Why is that important? If you don't have any water, a lot of time in, in uh, let's say there's a Mad Max situation and everything is down and the, the uh, utilities no longer have water available. You can still find water in the plumbing of buildings it hasn't, if it hasn't been drained out. These little keys can open up every single faucet. Also, let's say it's not the end of the world. It's just tomorrow and you're on a road trip and you run out of water someplace. It's 11.30 at night and there's a resident, there's a industrial building somewhere but they don't have any faucet handles they have you have to use something like this to open up so you could no it wouldn't be right i mean you'd be st stealing their water but the water is like between four and five dollars per thousand gallons here the utility rates here in sunrise so 10 gallons is a nickel so I'll leave a quarter <laughs> everybody's happy yeah this will get you water most important thing beside air is water this will get you water you can open up faucets all over, all over America, <laughs> maybe all over uh, everywhere with this, because everywhere you go, they tur take off the faucet so people can't use them and leave them running because people are idiots. Um, but yeah, this is, <laughs> put this in your uh, bug out bag or your, your trunk of your car or whatever, you always have access to water if you can find a faucet. Second thing, after water is food, and there's a lot of information about food obviously there are like 10 billion videos on different things for food a lot of people imagine that a crap hit the fan situation they're going to get out their guns and go after bears or antelopes or deer or possums or rabbits pretty soon those things are going to be gone if they ever were there to begin with you want to get you a gill net gill nets are illegal almost everywhere but in an emergency situation you got to eat um the reason they're illegal everywhere is because they're so effective um this is like a about 25 meters or 8 feet more or less and it's very light small you can put in the bag and here's the key about getting fish you don't want to expend or any food if you're in a emergency situation you don't want to spend so much of your energy getting the food that let me give you an example one of my <laughs> one of my favorite books is The Silent World by Jacques Cousteau during the Second World War he and his friends were in occupied France and they had to fend for themselves and get food. And they didn't, they hadn't invented the aqualung yet, the scuba gear. So they were just free diving, snorkeling and using spears to get fish. And fish was very beneficial, a lot of protein and energy from fish. But he said they expended more energy getting the fish than it was worth going after them. So even though the great thing about North America is you have ponds, lakes, rivers, creeks, uh, canals everywhere you, you maybe more than the rest of the world combined so there's always fish available but you want to use as little energy as possible and one way is gill nets the second way that will require more energy are, are uh, <laughs> cast nets right now <laughs> cast nets are rather inexpensive so You can buy them, and they always make excellent items to uh, sell if other people need one and they don't have one. Um, also, you can learn to make them. There are some books out that show you how to make the knots and make your own netting. Um, while we're on the subject of netting, if we do have a crap pit the fan situation, you want to get yourself a net to put over your head because we're going to have a lot of mosquitoes. <laughs> there won't be anybody to 
um, get rid of mosquitoes for you. Now, what about the next thing? The last thing, but maybe most important fun thing, is rubber. <laughs> I didn't say rubber, I said rubber. Uh, one of my favorite channels on YouTube is George Sprave, or maybe Jorg Sprave. He is um, fascinated, addicted, enchanted to making weapons that use elastic or rubber to shoot projectiles of every kind. He's got a, and if you've never seen him, and I don't know why you would not have seen him, he's got one of the most fun and enjoyable channels. And he makes all sorts of deadly items using different types of rubber. Either tubular, the Ambex latex rubber, or the TeraBand like this. And I became enamored of his channel when I saw him make a, a video on how to weaponize a Christmas tree. <laughs> you know, at the end of the year, Christmas trees, uh, Christmas is over, and you got to throw out a tree. He took the tree and turned it into something you could use as a defensive weapon. <laughs> Let me show you its features. <laughs> you got to get you some Teraband, watch George's channel, and learn to make your own slingshots. If you become uh, proficient with a slingshot, get you some little lead weights. Um, you can hold like two or three weights in your hand and one in the pouch, and you can shoot them in like four seconds. You can shoot four nice little lead balls 30, 40 feet and put a dent in <laughs> something that shouldn't have a dent in it. <laughs> so... Those are my three things I think very few people mention on uh, proper videos. The Key of Life, uh, Gill Nets, and Taraban Rubber. Um, so that was my video for this morning. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I put on new videos every week. I cannot help myself. I'm addicted. I have a bunch of cool people at the bottom of my channel that are uh, no relation to me. I've just featured because I think they got great stuff going on. And I put on... New stuff every week. Got over 900 videos. Been doing it for 13, maybe 14 years. And uh, pretty soon I'll be up to 1,000 and I may not make videos anymore. I may just, I don't know, uh, do something else more fun. But I don't know what's more fun than this. Hope you guys are having a good day. I sure am. And uh, see you out there.